Hey, honey. Yes, Barry? Let's get out of here. Where are we going? Where do we always go? Hasta encontrar la playa Por eso grito al mundo Yo soy de Puerto Vallarta Samba de Puerto Vallarta Noche de arrullo en el mar Samba de Puerto Vallarta Hello, fellow travelers, and welcome to this episode of the Puerto Vallarta Travel Show. I'm your host, Barry Kessler, and I'm just so happy to be introducing you to my favorite vacation destination. Maybe it's even yours, and that's Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, of course. That music you're listening to is performed by Alberto Perez, and Alberto is the owner of the Lapa Lapa group of restaurants here. Those are the Lapa Lapa, Puerto Vallarta's oldest restaurant on the famous Los Muertos Beach, and the El Dorado Restaurant and Beach Club right next door, so you can enjoy that fantastic view of the Los Muertos Pier, all lit up at night in beautiful colors, or during the day in its grand splendor for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, seated with your toes in the sand right at the water's edge. It's so romantic. It's so Puerto Vallarta, my friends. This week I have a very special guest. She's a listener and a friend of mine. Her name is Sharon Reynolds. She's from Southern California, and she is a lover of Puerto Vallarta, who has a ton of great suggestions for you, uh, so that you can be all ready for your next trip to paradise. But before we get to Sharon, let's see what's happening this week, the 28th of September, 2018. Well, it happened again, folks, and this time, mm -hmm, it was at a resort. Uh, a crocodile attack, actually, uh, on a tourist. It seems a 30-year-old woman was taking a stroll on a beach in front of the Marriott Hotel where she was staying. Uh, it was around 11.30 in the evening, so it was dark. And, uh, well, she must have stumbled upon, upon a crocodile uh, who actually took a chunk out of her leg, about uh, 25 to 30 centimeters worth of chunk, she began screaming, of course, and the authorities were alerted. And uh, luckily there was a private ambulance nearby, so she was taken to uh, the Hospitin Hospital, not far from there. Uh, hmm, I wonder if she had traveler's insurance. I'm, I'm getting mine. <laughs> just, just got it today. <laughs> All right, I have a link to the article from Noticias PV uh, in the show notes if you want to look at that. And uh, be careful when you're walking on the beach. It seems that the crocodiles are straying from their usual digs. Uh, now, there is word that their natural habitat's being disturbed by some pretty big developments going on along the river. But uh, anyway... I think that's why we're seeing more crocodiles. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But just be careful. Uh, remember that, uh, first of all, you're not going to be going fishing along the Emeka River. And um, I don't know why people do anyway. There's there's signs all around that say crocodiles beware. But hey, whatever, right? It's Mexico. Uh, but now, uh, it seems, uh, you shouldn't go for a stroll along, along the beach in the dark without a flashlight, okay? Uh, now, of course, I've always suggested that you don't take a stroll on the beach late at night anyway in Puerto Vallarta just for safety reasons, so there's that. A uh, flashlight or no flashlight. So, Anyway, there's a link to that uh, that particular article in the show notes at Uh There's a new 500 peso bank note. Uh, if you haven't been to Mexico this summer, you haven't noticed that there is a new one. Uh, let me read here from Mexico News Daily. Images of former President Benito Juarez and a gray whale replace those of artists Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera on the new 500 peso bill, which entered circulation today. Now, this was back in August, I think. Uh, the Bank of Mexico 
officially launched the new blue colored note at the at an event in Mexico City where it was announced that it is the first in a new family of bills that pay homage to our historical identity with natural heritage. The central bank said in a video that the ecosystem of coasts, seas, islands, and the gray whale, and the historic process of La Reforma, a 19th century liberal reform, and the restoration of the Republic feature together on the new 500 peso bill. Juarez, a Zapotec lawyer from Oaxaca, who served as president between 1858 and 1872, now appears on two banknotes, as his likeness is already featured on the 20 peso bill. It was pointed out that the 500 peso bill is larger than the 20, and that the former is made of cotton paper, whereas the later is plastic. Uh, Bank of Mexico Governor Alejandro Diaz de Leon said the decision to change the 500 peso note was made because it's the most widely circulated and the most counterfeited denomination. Uh, the new bill features a range of security features, including fluorescent ink and dynamic thread, embossing perceptible by touch, a watermark, and a multicolored denomination. The 500 peso bill was first issued in 1994 and featured an image of Army General Ignacio Zaragoza. The uh, Frito and Diego bill appeared in 2010 but will now be gradually withdrawn from circulation. And I have a link to that article as well here in the show notes. So look for those new bills, you guys. Uh, they're coming your way. <laughs> I already discovered that my dog took one of those uh, 500 peso notes out of circulation for me. I found a half-eaten one that she dragged out of my Mexico backpack. <laughs> you know, when I'm getting all ready to pack. I mean, it's, what a bummer. Gee, come on. Come on, doggy. Uh, I have some sad news. Bud Bottoms, the creator of the Dolphin Fountain Sculpture on the Malacon, uh, passed away. And... John Strawn, the owner of the Loft Gallery, left a really nice heartfelt sentiment rem remembering Bud. I hope he doesn't mind if I read it. It reads, The dolphin sculpture on the Malacon will be flowing with tears. We've just lost its creator, Bud Bottoms of Santa Barbara, who passed away at 90 years of age. The fountain was a gift to the people of Puerto Vallarta from the Santa Barbara Sister Cities Group in 1987. Bud was a wonderful spirit whose life exemplified the embrace of art, friendship, environmental justice, and peace. Rest in power, Bud Bottoms. So, uh, that was very nice. The next time you walk past that dolphin sculpture, say a little, little prayer for Bud, will you? Ninety years old. Hmm. Not bad. Uh, now, before I get to the interview, let's do a quick review of next week's meetups, shall we? First, Tuesday the 2nd and Tuesday the 9th of October. Uh, both of those days, we're going to be joining uh, JR at Kelly's Por Favor Saloon and Cookhouse for his regular meet and greet at 5.30, and then we're going to set up shop, hopefully, like I said before, uh, on the upstairs patio, and you'll be telling me what you are doing in paradise, I hope. You're going to come and meet me there. And then uh, either one of those days, uh, starting at 5.30, we stay, like I said, uh, a couple hours or so. And then Wednesday the 3rd, uh, we're going to be in front of Cuetes y Cuetes with our toes in the sand for an open mic until, uh, well, from 2 o'clock until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I'll have some t-shirts for the lucky uh, first few listeners, uh, of course, till I run out. And... Also, if you have a local business you want to plug, um, this is going to be the time to do it. We don't bite, so come on down. We know that you're listening, <laughs> so come on over. Uh, otherwise, uh, if any of you listeners have some time, really, I sure would love to see you. I'd love to meet you. Even if you don't want to talk in the microphone, come on down. All right, let's get on with the interview, shall we? I met Sharon Reynolds uh, a few years ago on the rooftop of Barcelona Tapas. Uh, Barcelona Tapas is a beautiful restaurant. It's 
got this killer view overlooking downtown Puerto Vallarta. And I was there for one of Gary Beck's foodie groups. Uh, he was having a, a meetup of sorts. It was restaurant week. And so uh, anyway, we all had a really wonderful dinner. And at that dinner, I had a chance to meet some really interesting people. It's, you know, if you ever get a chance, if you have an opportunity to uh, go on one of these uh, foodie things with, uh, with Gary Beck, it's really a great opportunity to meet new people, uh, interesting people. Uh, and uh, anyway, that is where I met Sharon and Bill, her husband, uh, Mr. Bill, to be more formal, of course. Uh, and I wanted to introduce you to Sharon just because I think that she represents the open-minded sort of free spirit traveler. She's savvy, she's not naive, but she's a person who I think would, I think she'd make a really great traveling companion. Uh, she's open to new ideas, she's not stuck in a rut, she's not stuck going to the same old places. Uh, but she's willing to explore, and that's something that I think that everybody who goes to Puerto Vallarta needs to do, needs to be able to take a little time and explore. Now, Sharon's coming to us from her home in California, uh, and where she is talking from, the room she is in, is a little echoey. Uh, but other than that, it sounds really good. She's got some great information uh, and you don't have to take notes because I took all those show notes for you. You'll find them at www.portofvalletravelshow.com and you'll find the links and even maps and pictures to all that stuff that we talk about. Now, with that being said, I do have a real job. I sell houses here in, in, in Los Angeles and from time to time, uh, you may have noticed that I have a hard time getting blog posts written and linked up and so forth on that first day that I release the podcasts. Uh, and if you have and you haven't gone back, I need to tell you that I add lots of stuff to the blog posts during the first three days uh, after I upload it. So if you've, if you've gone to the site and uh, you've, you've uh, you know, not seen everything that I have promised, Please go back a couple days later, and it'll it'll be there for you, okay? Now, I recorded this interview last April, uh, so it was just before JR's birthday bash. And um, I'm just telling you that just to give you a little clue as to the context of our conversation and spots. And, uh, okay, <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get right now to my friend, and now yours too. Sharon Reynolds. Thanks for doing this. Oh, I'm flattered. I mean, you have all the cool people on your show. Right. So yeah. that's why I have you, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, tell my listeners about yourself. What was your path to Puerto Vallarta? I went with my former business partner because she and her husband were looking for a house in Playa Las Tortugas. Okay. Now, where's Playa Las Tort Tortugas? It's about two hours north of Vallarta. It's south of San Blas. All right. And, um, wow. All right. What was that like? Really, really beautiful. Um, a lot of Mexican-style homes, mostly owned by Americans, lots of bugs, but very, very peaceful. There's nothing to do out there. Yeah, they have a pool. They have the beach. Um, no shops or restaurants or anything. Lots of bugs. But very relaxing. <laughs> okay. Now, I was told, like, years ago that San Blas was just, I mean, it, it, there, it, was, it was famous for bugs and sand fleas and all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh, oh yeah. They're at Playa Las Tortugas, too. Okay. All right. All right. Things haven't changed much. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, you f uh, the, one of the reasons I have you here is because you actually fly out of Tijuana, right? I mean... Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. so we had our nightmare trip out of Tijuana. So go ahead. So tell us, like, first of all, why do you, why do you fly out of Tijuana? My husband is really taken with the fact that there are no lines for customs or immigration. And when we hit the ground and fired up, we can immediately start vacationing. Oh, so you're filling out your FMM when you get 
to Tijuana. We do it online. All right. So you live in Redlands. So yes, I do. So what is the distance from? Uh, first of all, are there any flights out of uh, out of San Bernardino Airport there? No, we drive. We drive. We spend the night at a hotel in Chula Vista, and they let us leave our car there for the month. Oh, okay, cool. All right. So what's the process? And we take we take Uber from the hotel, and they drop us off right at the border crossing. We go through the tunnel, and it takes us right to the Tijuana Airport. What airline do you fly? Polaris. All right. Um, that's interesting. What are the fares pretty reasonable coming out of out of TJ? Yes, the flights are very reasonable. We spent, I believe, one hundred and seventy nine dollars nonstop round trip. Oh, okay. That almost makes it worthwhile, doesn't it? Well, it does if there are two of us, but for just myself, if if I'm going sola, I fly Alaska out of Orange County. Okay. All right. So you park your car in, in Chula, Chula Vista. Vista and you have a safe spot for that. So that's all good. We have We have secured parking, but the manager made me promise not to tell which hotel allows us to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. Well, there it goes. All right. So much for that tip. Um, <clears throat> all right. All right. So tell us about the airport. Um, is there anything unusual about it? Is there something that you wouldn't um, normally see in a regular U.S. Imp- airport? Uh, the seats are kind of ratty. There's not, after you go through customs, there's not much in the way of food, but it's it's fine. Yeah, it's not dirty or anything. It's, it's just um, not is well maintained. Okay. And um, the ride from the border where you get dropped off uh, to um, to the airport itself is pretty oh, simple? It's about the same length walk as it is when you get off the plane and walk through the airport in Puerto Vallarta. Hmm, okay. All right. Uh, well, that's pretty cool. All right. So you, you save some money. You save mm-hmm. some time because you basically are bypassing the immigration line when you, I mean, you, right. you, you know, you, you land and people are looking at you like, really, are you Mexican? <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, gringa. All right. Look, you, although, you know, you, you would you would think that maybe some of that has rubbed off on you. I mean, you spend a lot of time in Vallarta. Um, I spend a lot of time in Baja also. Do you really? Where, where do you stay when you go there? Uh, we like to stay at the Rosarito Beach Hotel. Oh. And then we drive down to Ensenada. That's yeah, fun. I, I'd like to drive to Cabo, but you know, have to talk a girlfriend into doing that with me. <laughs> uh, well, Ensenada is a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's talk. Let's get back to Vallarta. When you stay in Puerto Vallarta, what are your what are your favorite places to to eat? Where do you like to eat, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Oh, I, I'm a big foodie. Okay, breakfast. Um, I like Daiquiri Dicks. I like uh, Cafe de Oya. Uh, love the breakfast at Langostinos River Cafe. And when we stay at Lindomar, we frequently eat breakfast at La Playita. Oh wow! Okay, those are all great, great choices. When you go to the River Cafe, you have a favorite thing that you like to order there. I order omelets. Um, if I'm having breakfast for lunch, I really like their chiliano platter. But and, and for dinner, I order seafood, whatever fish dish or sh- shrimp looks good to me. Okay, good. And my husband eats the duck, the duck two or three ways. Or the lamb lasagna. Oh, lamb lasagna. <laughs> now you got me wondering about this place. <laughs> oh, you haven't been. Oh, it's wonderful. Really nice service. Really nice atmosphere. Really great food. All right. Well, I got to go there next time. Yeah. I, you know, stopped it. I stopped by there last time looking to talk to somebody, but it was hard to ah. find somebody that, that would talk to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know, right? You know, it's like sometimes yeah. sometimes they have to double check and then you never hear from them. It's just that's how it that's yeah. how it works for me. What <laughs> oh, about, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, it's okay. I'm a real estate agent. I'm I'm used to rejection. I get it all the time. 
<laughs> That's what makes this job so much fun. It's like, ah, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, what about lunch? What, um, what do you like? Um, I like the ceviche at Langostinos. I like to go to taco stands. I like Marisma fish tacos a lot. Mm -hmm. um, uh, sometimes I go to Joe Jack's and have their ceviche sampler uh. or, or a salad. Um, I like Encanto. Oh, I like Babel Bar. That's a new find. Yeah, that's new. Tell us about Babel Bar. Oh, it's so relaxing. It's right on the river, uh, just just past uh, oh, Le Bistro. Mm -hmm. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful murals, really relaxing setting, really good food, really gracious service. Yeah, just a, a really nice place where you can just sit and read a book for a couple of hours if you'd like. Mm, sounds like a nice location, too. <laughs> it's a wonderful location. Okay, so when you go to Encanto to have uh, lunch, what do you what do you get? I like their salads. I like their tacos. I like their pizza, and I like their sirloin burger. Even though I almost never eat beef. Uh, all right. Well, there's some, there's something there for everybody. It sounds like all right. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah you know, I like the music. Yeah, they have a keyboard player in the morning, and they, you know, they like music. You know, either in the piano bar the cabaret at night oh i'd like to go to um no one ever mentions uh the food at nacho daddy and it's really good huh yes yeah. tell yeah. us what you eat when you go to nacho daddy i love their tortilla soup and i love their enchiladas the sauce is great all right well shoot we got to get over there yeah all right so what about dinner what do you what do you like for dinner Oh, seafood. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Seafood. Yeah. Oh, I love Bistro Teresa. The atmosphere is, is just gorgeous and the food is incredible. Uh, I like Barrio Bistro. Uh, I like Bravo's a lot. Yeah. Um, tell us about I'm, Barrio Bistro. Ah, it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. You wouldn't expect that. I had my birthday dinner there, and the, sh the chef came over and introduced himself and went through all the different specials. And then he came out and sang happy birthday to me. So oh. I thought that was great. But um, the menu changes depending on what's in season. Okay. I'll, I'll, was, I'll was something good to choose from. A lot of care you put into the flavors. Yeah, they get really good ratings on uh, TripAdvisor, and it just seems like it's a it's. I mean, it's out of the way. It's not in. It's not in uh, in town. It's where? Where is it? No. Where, where do you find that place? I don't know how to describe it. I'm not, I'm not sure what the Colonia name is. Okay, you just. Uh, I I just put it into my Uber app, and they uh, take me. Oh, okay, good. Of course you do. All right, let's talk about Uber. Um, how's your How's your experience with Uber? Excellent, excellent. Yeah, in January I, I stayed with a friend who lives in Las Aurelias, mm -hmm. and by the time I, I locked both of her gates, the Uber was there, oh. and no no problem. Really clean cars. The drivers were friendly. A little more than half of them spoke English, but yeah, it was fine with the ones who don't. All right, good. Yeah, I had some uh, I had some great uh, Uber rides last time down, and. Uh, yeah, it didn't seem to have any problems. I, you, know, you just have to make sure that you don't catch them in front of a hotel or some crazy thing like that. <laughs> no, I, I had one get lost going going um, somewhere in El Romance to a, a to a friend's condo. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. So, yeah, yeah. It, well, it, it happens, happens with taxi drivers, even you know. So what the heck? I figure Uber drivers going to do the same thing. Well, I, I had them finally just just take me to Morditas, and I walked over the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. Yeah, you knew you so, knew the way. You knew your way once you were there. It's the landmark, everybody. It's the landmark. Oh yeah. You know. Oh oh, and talking about dinner, I forgot to mention Morditas, and that's one of my very favorite places. Tell us about Morditas. First of all, what is Morditas? What does it mean? <laughs> I believe the bite, the bribe. <laughs> 
That's right. May have something to do with <laughs> what they had to do to open the place, but I wouldn't say that. No, shh, quiet. <laughs> hey, well, the, we don't want that word to get out. So no, Rick, Rick and Sarah are friends of mine. Have been for a long time. Yeah. All right. So tell us about Morditas. What do they? What uh, do they uh, specialize in? You know they they make a, uh, they have a set menu and then they have specials whatever they feel like cooking and I like that um, I like the oysters they have uh, both raw oysters or oysters morditas um, which is mixed with mushrooms and pernol I think that's a nice blend or oysters Rockefeller and sometimes they have Pennsylvania Dutch oyster pie which is a lot better than it sounds. I was going to say, uh, okay. Yeah. No, actually, I tried it and it was good. I'm sure it was I'm good. Sure it's really good. And their their chili is really good and their lasagna is really good. Ah, okay. So they're like they're not really a Mexican restaurant, really. They're kind of a home cooking restaurant. No, a home cooking restaurant's perfect way to describe it. Yeah, yeah, you don't don't find tacos or enchiladas. They have pizza. They have lasagna. They have chili. Yeah. You know. Nice. Sometimes they have fried chicken. Sometimes they have barbecued food. The ribs are great. All right. All right. Um, when, well, you spend, you spend a lot of time there. You're there like for a month at a time. So. Yeah, at least. What, what's your favorite day trip when you're, when you're down there? Uh, we really enjoy San Pancho. Ah. And, uh, yeah, we like to go to Miss Maloya. Uh, we have we sometimes we stay in La Cruz de Manacasle, so we always like to go up there and visit. We love the Sunday market. Um, we've stayed in Bucerias, and we like to go there and, and visit friends and yeah, have a meal at Fat Boys right there on the beach by the flea market. Fat Boys. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And they have wonderful scallops. Oh, cool! That sounds wonderful. Yeah. That sounds great. All right. And then that, that's uh, La Cruz. Yes. Oh no, that's in Bucerias. Oh, Bucerias. Okay. I can't. I I go to Osos by the fish market in La Cruz, mm -hmm. and and sometimes tacos on the street, and then there's another place, but I'm sworn to secrecy on that. Uh oh. Oh, you know. <laughs> so, sometimes I have to kick yeah. people off my show for being secret like that. But okay, never mind. I, well, I'll tell you what. When we're off, when we're off the air, I'll text you the name of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Deal. Just right. for you, Barry. Just for me. All right. You're the best. Just All right. for All right. you. <laughs> Not for the general public, Thank but for you. All right. I'll, I won't share then. And I'm just, <laughs> okay. I'll have to whip myself afterwards. Uh, and, uh, yeah. And if you, if you see gringos there, don't tell them who told you. Okay. I won't. I won't usually, they, usually there aren't gringos there. Right? right. Well, that's the best. That's the best food. You know, right. You know, when you walk right. in and you're the only gringo, you know, you've, you found it. You hit pay dirt. Yes. Uh -huh. I like that. Uh, when you um, when you're there, what, what's, what's your favorite way to spend your day in paradise? Because you're not always driving around and stuff like that, or hopping on a no, no. I like I like to do a walkabout. My husband likes to spend the heat of the day with everything closed up in the condo and the air conditioning on. Yeah. So you no, know, I take a bus into town, or or you know, down to Miss Malaya or something, and then do a little walkabout. I see what's new, what's changed, you know, pop in a shop maybe I haven't seen before, you know, have a kind of a progressive meal, you know, have soup here, you know, wander down another mile or two and, you know, have a taco somewhere else. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And usually, usually I end up on the beach and then I call Mr. Bill and tell him where I am and who I've run into <laughs> and, and what grand plans I have for dinner. <laughs> I love it. All right. Well, that sounds like a perfect day to me. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I, like, I, like to, I like to walk along the river. Yeah. Then you know, just you know, see things you might not see otherwise. Yeah. We'll do some walking inland and then end up on the beach. Cool. Yeah. Now, you stay in a lot of diverse properties. I think. Yeah. You know, we'd like to. We'd yeah. like to. I like the variety and yeah. we don't mind staying three or four different places. Okay. Yeah. So you stayed in, uh, let's see, you stayed in the hotel Rio last trip. I recall. The hotel Rio was fine. It was very nice. The rooms were spotless. The beds were comfortable. 
But we moved into Hotel Rio after staying at Garland Del Rio, oh. and there was no no comparison. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, you that's went from that... boutique to teak, is what you went yeah. there, right? Yeah, <laughs> uh, it was a, a a good value. Yeah, yeah. Right, well, yeah tell, tell us about deal. tell us about Garlands. Oh my heavens, that place is the epitome of charm. Uh, it was someone's home. Uh, lots of art, lots of interesting furniture. Um, the rooms are on the small side, but. I think all the artwork and charm and beautiful furniture, it works for us anyway. Nice. You know, we're, we're, booked, we're booked there next week. Oh, so you liked it enough to go back? Oh, I made the reservations for our return trip before we even left. Okay. <laughs> there you go. All right. <laughs> and we really like the location there. They have a porch swing right there on the river that's a perfect spot for sitting and contemplating nature. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that is a yeah. great spot. It is centrally located right on the river, right next to the old right. bridge. It's a good yeah. spot to be. Yeah. And, you know, if their continental breakfast, you know, isn't what we feel like eating that day, we walk next door and eat breakfast at Encanto. Right. Yeah, you can't go wrong. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah, so, yeah, very well, nice. Well, would you, you stay at a bunch of places, so what would you say – is like the nicest, coolest place you ever stayed? Well, it's probably a tie. For Bill's uh, 60th birthday, I rented a, a villa in Conscious Chinas, ah. um, a three-bedroom, four-bath with a gorgeous ocean view and a private pool, and that was really great. But the honeymoon suite at Casa Isabel is really phenomenal. If it were just the two of us and we weren't inviting you know, friends and family to join us, that would be my number one pick. Casa Isabel. All right. Casa Isabel. I love that place. Love the place. Love the lady. Yeah. She's, she is so sweet. Oh, she's wonderful, isn't she? She's amazing. You know, she is just yeah. so full of life and she's so vibrant. And she's just like, how do you do that, lady? How do you do that? <laughs> that's that's true. Uh, yeah, she's, she's, she's just fun. Yeah, definitely. Um, have you ever stayed at any properties that you just hated that you'll never go back? No, no. no. Uh, I, I probably wouldn't go back to uh, Playa Los Arcos or Los Arcos Suites. Uh, I love children. I love them dearly. <laughs> I have eight grandchildren, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Well, my wife was making. Mean... She's making rumbling. She says, "Let's go back to you know the uh, the place that we stayed our first time there." And I'm going. Oh, what was that? Ah, Playa Los Arcos. We were there. You know, first our first trip to Puerto Verta, and that's where um, I stayed our first trip. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, that's probably because the travel agent sent you there, right? Yes. Yeah. That's what happened <laughs> with us. You know, the travel agent and, said, yeah, "Yeah, here it is. This is it. We went to the Playa Los Arcos and." Yeah. And we we went yeah. we liked it enough to go back the second time. So yeah, no, I've I've stayed there I think three times, and it was just fine. But we found places we like better. Like it's the same uh, price as Garland Del Rio. Oh, true. So so you know we're just so taken with Garlands that we would do that. Right, and fewer kids. You probably fewer have. Kids. You could probably go to the pool and not have to see one. So there. Uh, yeah, no, there were people. Uh, whoa, whoa, with, wait a minute. Uh, there were. And there were people with an infant and a small child, but they were very nicely behaved. Oh, good. All right, good. Yeah. Obviously, they weren't yeah. from my town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably uh, not from mine either. <laughs> are there any? Uh, are there uh, any other places or properties that um, uh, kind of reach out? That you can think of Lindo Lindomar, which is why we bought a month there. Okay, all right. So Lindo, we so how love, does that? So tell me how that works. You said you bought a month there. What's that? Um, it's it's like a timeshare, fractional ownership. It's it's deeded, and you can pass it on. But you know, you have to call eleven months in advance to book your week, and you know, that's fine. Mm -hmm. we, prior to buying there, we stayed at Vista del Sol and liked that a lot. Okay, but. We used, to, we used to meet friends uh, who own it at Lindomar for breakfast, and we just really liked the place. We liked the people. Yeah, we liked the, you know, Mexican feel to it. And, yeah, just 
they had what they called a fire sale or a friends and family sale. And friends said, hey, would you be interested in buying at Lindo Mar? And of course, I mean, that was a no brainer. Right. So. And they've got yeah. La Playita there. So. Yeah. Yes. And that's so good. Yeah. And yeah, we're really happy with our ownership at Lindo Mar. All right. But, yeah. but we don't like to fly on Saturday or Sunday. And that's a good thing because it's hard, hard to get flights. Uh, that are nonstop uh, through Tijuana mm -hmm. on, on Saturday or Sunday. So where do they stop? Do they go to Mexico City? I think Mexico City or Guadalajara. Okay. And, you know, I've never been to the airport in Guadalajara, and I, I like the airport in Mexico City quite a lot. I, I'm fine hanging out there for a couple of hours, but a nonstop is better. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I am not. I am not fine hanging out in the <laughs> <laughs> just take me there straight. Okay. I'm just going there right now. All right. That's well, yeah, I know. I know. All right. Um, although <laughs> if I could get out and, you know, explore Mexico city a little while. I'd definitely go. I would and do that. So. I, I, I would love that. And we're thinking that maybe, maybe our, maybe next year we'll fly into uh, Guadalajara and spend a few nights. Yeah. And yeah, look around, you know, see what's there. Yeah. It's always good to explore a different city. Sure. You, all, you, all, you, all, you know where you're going to end up when you're all done with all that. Yeah. Back in Vallarta. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah. Um, do you have any tips for shopping in Puerto Vallarta? Well, if you need a bathing suit, go to La Serena Arena on, uh, on Juarez mm -hmm. uh, near the market. If you want dresses made or shirts, uh, go to Luisa. Every year, my husband picks a flower he really likes and has Louisa paint him a shirt, and that's his souvenir of the trip. <laughs> really? So she, has, she does hand-painted things? She does hand-painted things. She custom-makes things to your size, mm. which, yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I, I like to... I, I like to go to the tortillerias and, and, and the fish markets and, you know, the, the chicken lady at the Mercado. Yeah, but I like to buy produce out of the back of people's pickup trucks. <laughs> I like to go to the tea on this. <laughs> so, I love that. I love that. You yeah. Sound, you sound like a lot of fun to travel with, I got to tell you. Oh, well, well thank you, Barry. <laughs> I don't know if I'm any fun to anyone else, but <laughs> I amuse myself. <laughs> That's what I do. Okay. I amuse myself too. It's all part of the deal. Well, I think you're highly entertained. <laughs> <laughs> if price was no object, um, what would be the one thing that you'd, that you would really love to do in Puerto Vallarta? Oh, buy a house. <laughs> buy a house. A actually, actually, we're meeting with a realtor on the 5th uh -oh. of May. You're doing yeah. it, huh? I think so. Mm -hmm. We've been... Our first visit, we walked around and realized that we were both stopping in front of every real estate office we saw. Yeah. And the more we go into people's homes, you know, people who live there, you know, the more we really like that, that you yeah. know, like the Colonias. Yeah. So yeah, that would know. be, that would be what I'd do. Uh -huh. All right. That's interesting. So. <laughs> oh no! I look. I, I look at Puerto Vallarta real estate at least once a week. So, if price is no object, that's what you're doing. You're looking at pre, you're looking at a place to be. I would yes, and you know you definitely know real estate prices in California. So when you look at prices in Vallarta, you go, "Wow, for what my house is worth, look what I could buy there." Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Believe me, I'm, I'm moving. I'm moving people out of here for that. You know that, don't you? You know. <laughs> All right. Well, you travel as a single lady to Puerto Vallarta. I know that sometimes. Yeah. So yeah. have you ever yeah, had any trouble for... in paradise? No, not at all. None whatsoever. So you would tell somebody who is a single traveling woman not to worry? I, I have a lot of single friends who travel. I have two really close girlfriends who are single women who own homes in Vallarta. I live there full time. Um, Dan, I... The friend I stayed with for two weeks in January works at night. She works at Encanto. So, yeah, I had a lot of time off wandering by myself, you know, even at night. No problem whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, yeah. 
Now, mind you, I'm not I'm not flashing expensive jewelry, and I'm not dr buying drugs, and I'm not stumbling out of bars drunk at 3 a.m. Uh, okay, those are all good I'm tips using, for you guys. I'm using I'm using the same common sense I use at home. Yeah. All right. See, there you go. Yeah. Uh, you've taken a few tours over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, any of them that you can talk about? I know that you did a sailboat tour recently. Oh, did the Ada? Yeah, yeah, I did that. I did that in January for my birthday, and I did it last May for a friend's birthday. And we're doing it again um, on the eighth, going sailing on the Ada. This time a sunset sail. Uh huh. Tell us about the Ada. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's just it's a beautiful sailboat. Really, really gracious staff. Uh, the price includes all your food and drink, and I cannot believe they can make such fabulous food in a boat galley, but they do. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And so where do they go? Uh, just out sailing in the bay. They they stop. Oh, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but they stop north of Vallarta so people can swim if they'd like or, you know, do a little, little snorkeling. Mm-hmm. Very nice. So, um, <laughs> wow. All right. Sailing. Is that an expensive yeah. venture? Uh, for the sunset sale with appetizers and drinks, it was 90 US dollars. Oh, that's not bad. What is that? Like three hours? Yeah. Three or four hours. About the about daytime three hour tour. Yes. <laughs> the daytime sale is six hours. But that includes a really, really elegant lunch. And it feels like they just keep feeding you all the time. Nice. They're always passing appetizers. Oh, how wonderful. Uh, the, so they... I I think it's really worth the money. Do they like play music? Are they? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. They, they have music playing. Okay. Good. Wow. All right. That sounds like, that sounds like it. Now that, that six hour tour, uh, that's going to be more than 90 bucks. What is that? What does that run? You know? 120. Oh, that's not bad at all. No, all right, so no, this I can... is a full day, and they're feeding you, and you are out on the bay. Oh, and... I can I can spend more money than that sitting at Sea Monkey buying things from vendors. <laughs> <You know it. laughs> of course you can. <laughs> of course I can. It's like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, have a few fish tacos, a few glasses of wine, buy some jewelry. Yeah, but the hundred and twenty keeps me out of mischief. Ah, oh, right. All right, good idea, you guys. All right, so I'm gonna have a link to Ada. <laughs> Ada sailing because I love I love what they do there. Very good. Um, have you Have you been? No, oh, I've met her. I haven't been on the boat yet. I, I don't. You know, here's the deal. I don't have six hours to do that. <laughs> like, I get there. Barry, and I'm there. take some time I to know, have some fun. Don't just Don't just go around interviewing people. Know, take well, a day to yourself. It's just that's the thing. I'm just this interview whore, right? I just need to interview. I said, okay, there's somebody there. <laughs> I need well, to talk to them. And I whip out the microphone well, and off I go. Well, take a video on your phone and interview people while you're out on the bay. Uh, all right. Okay. I'll do that. You know, come on. Have some fun. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Next time. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> any other tours that you have taken that you really like? I liked San Sebastian. Did that with Superior Tours. And, uh, you know, it's a van. Everyone was friends of mine. We went to lunch at Montebello, excellent restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, we went and toured uh, the uh, Hacienda where they grow coffee and, and all sorts of good stuff. Mm -hmm. It walked, walked around the town. It was really enjoyable. Uh, we stopped at a tequila factory and, you know, saw the whole process and you know, got to taste it at each stage. Nice. So uh, that was a day trip? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just a day trip. Day trip through Superior Tours. And did you mm -hmm. have to get like a, did you have to bring a whole bunch of people to make that work or or did they? I think there were eight of us. Okay. All right. And you had to, you had to put that together? No, no, uh, no. You just said, one I want to go. There's two of me and you just no, got on no, a bus one, with eight one, of, No, one, one, of my friend, one, one of my friends decided she wanted to go and, and uh, put it out in an email to her friends. And, you know, ah, so you gathered enough one, people. Yeah, we gathered. And, and that's frequently the case in the ADA, that it's, you know, friends, friends of friends. 
Uh-huh. Okay. Because you do kind of need to have enough people to make it work, right? Well, in January, just one of my friends and I, just the two of us went because she didn't feel like herding cats trying to get a whole group together. Yeah. Yeah, of course. And that was kind of nice, too. We just, you know, one of the dates that was available, we just booked. and you know. Okay. All right. Good. So that works, too, without having yeah. to get the crowd together. They either no, you can just the crowd go, or... Right. You can just go to their website or their Facebook page and see what dates are available and just book. Okay. Yeah, one or two people. All so right. that works, too. Nice. Um, Very nice. What kind of advice would you give to a first-time traveler to Puerto Vallarta? Oh, get out and see the city. Don't, 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 don't stay at an all-inclusive and just sit there. I hate to say it, but my oldest son and his wife did just that. <laughs> just that. Sat at Velas for the week. Um, go out and, and, and look at things. Um, eat at some of the smaller locally owned restaurants. Have They have a taco off a cart or some comida corrida or something. Um, you know, take a bus. You know, one of my first trips, I just took a bus till the end of its route and then took it back where I started. And it was really interesting to get out and see the colonias. So you just kind of went and did, did the round trip yeah. with the bus driver? Just, yeah, just just to see what was there. Just to, you know, look at something that wasn't touristy. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Well, that would be something that JR would call the, the mystery tour. And there you oh, are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jay. Taking Jr. out to uh, Jackery Dick's for his birthday breakfast next week. Ah, oh, you are. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Arriving a few days too late for the big party, but yeah. Yeah. It's... Good. Yes. Well, his birthday <laughs> falls just before my wife's, so. Ah, uh, yeah. Can, his, I can. Birthday, I can never be there for his. So. Yeah, his birthday is Wednesday, so that's that's kind of our tradition with him. Go to go to Jackery Dick's for for brunch. How fun. All right, good. Yeah. Well, wish him happy birthday for me. Oh, I sure will. And yeah, and he gives us input on, on good places to eat. You know, great places to eat and dive bars. Yeah, well, dive bars is his specialty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another place we've stayed that I failed to mention yeah, is me Hacienda Las Animas. It's up in Buenos Aires, up a hill. Yeah. And they have a lot of rescue animals there. It's a bed and breakfast, you know, a little boutique place. Oh. This is in, in which, where is it? In Buenos Aires. It's really? Up the it's hill. just right up the street from uh, JR? Yeah, <laughs> it's up the street from JR and it's up the hill from Morditas. Yeah, that's uh -huh. that's why I thought of it. Teddy and Brisha. Okay. Just and wonderful maybe I, maybe people. I, maybe I need to talk to them. You need to talk to them because they also have a ranch. They do a lot of animal rescue and they even have pet au pairs. No way. Yes, way, and that's that's what I wanted to have as my retirement job. But it's a it's a six month gig, and you know, <laughs> somebody's got to do it. Somebody has to do it. My yeah. my spouse thinks that uh, I shouldn't be that person. But. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, Bill. I like Bill. All right. Yeah, Bill's, okay. Bill's a good guy. He's a sweetheart, my <laughs> Mister Bill. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I'm going to make that a note that when I'm there next, I'm going to go up there and talk to them and tell them that you said. I have to go visit them and, and introduce oh, they're those delightful. Guys. They're delightful people. They're delightful. They are so kind-hearted. They do so much for the, the animals of Vallarta. You know, so do like Colette, you know, at Colette Zeri at Langostinos. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I heard. I heard that Colette was great. I need to talk to her, too. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Not only the Colina Spay and Neuter, but her wonderful restaurant. Yeah. All right. I'm on. Let's see. Now, look at I didn't. No, this no. is really cool. I can just ask my guests. I don't have to ask. <laughs> they don't have to email me. I just like pry it out of them, just like this. Uh, oh, so you? No, are, I, everybody I, can see what my next episodes are going to be. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I always, I always have to, you know, give the little props to my friends' businesses. But you know, they're my. A lot of people are my friends because. I go to their restaurants and I really love it and I share my enthusiasm with them. And you know? yeah, how can you, how can you not like someone who hangs out at your establishment and spends their money and, you know, right. Yeah. their self and tips. Well, 
Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> doesn't get you yeah. know sloppy drunk and fall down all the time. This is this is this is the kind. Oh wait a minute, no. All right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what have I forgotten? Have I forgotten something? Is there something that I need to add here? I don't think so. Are you sure? It's I'm pretty anything, sure. Anything I forgot? I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure we covered everything. I think we did too. You know what, Sharon? You you're so great. You are so great to come on this show. And oh, to go well, through all, I'll go through okay. all of the, you know, everything that you had to do to, to be able to get all hooked up so we could talk. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Well, like I told you, I'm really flattered because you invite, you, you interview all the cool people like, you know, Isabel and Gary Beck and you know, all those, all those cool people. Yeah. Well, you're cool too. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Don't you forget <laughs> it. And thank you. Thanks for coming on and letting me introduce you to my listeners. I really appreciate that. Okay, thank you very much, Barry. All right, what did I tell you about Sharon? Lots of fun, full of great information. And like I said, I have all that stuff in the show notes for this episode. I didn't tell you uh, when we first started that Sharon was the person that we had talked about a little bit earlier uh, in the podcast who flies out of Tijuana. I don't know about you guys, I still think it's a real pain in the rear to fly out of TJ. Much easier for me to fly out of Los Angeles. But very interesting uh, that uh, if you do fly out of Tijuana, uh, you can land in Puerto Vallarta and you don't have to wait in that immigration line. But really, how long is that line anyway? Okay. Well, I think we've had about enough for now. Now, um, next week, I'm going to be in paradise. I hope to see some of you there. Don't be shy if you're in town. And uh, we will produce the show live from Puerto Vallarta, if everything works out as planned. Sometimes it doesn't, but uh, anyway, we're going to make sure we get a show out to you uh, from Puerto Vallarta. Uh, I promise to avoid the crocodiles, that's for sure. Uh, So that should do it. For this episode of the Puerto Vallarta Travel Show. Next week, stay tuned for more on the ground reports from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, with travel tips, great restaurant and excursion ideas, and more. But until then, remember this is an interactive show where I depend on your questions and suggestions about all things Puerto Vallarta. If you think of something that I should be talking about, well, please reach out to me by clicking on the Contact Us tab and send us your message. And remember, if you're considering booking any type of tour while you're in Puerto Vallarta, you must go to ViartaInfo.com, that's JR's website, and reserve your tour through him right from his website. Remember, this is a value-for-value value proposition, my friends. His experience and on-the-ground knowledge of everything Puerto Vallarta in exchange for your making a purchase of a tour that you do anyway. You're just doing it through him as a way of saying thank you. Thanks, JR, for being our guide. It costs no more than if you were going to use someone else, so just do it, really. And when you do take one of those tours, email me about your experiences. Maybe you can come on board and share with others what you liked or didn't like about the tour. Again, contact me by clicking on the Contact Us tab and sending off a message. And don't forget, JR has his maps, his DIY tours, his revitalized happy hour board, and more right there on his website so check him out for sure at www.iartainfo.com and once again if you like this podcast please take the time and subscribe and give me a good review on iTunes if you would that way we can get the word out to more and more people about the magic of this place Puerto Vallarta, Mexico and I made it easy for you to do that with each episode I create but if you haven't been to my website really need to go have a look there i have links to the places we talk about i have interesting pictures and more right there in my blog post and in the show notes for each episode i create so go there if you have it all right all right already all right all right uh thank you sharon reynolds you were great thanks for your time thanks for sharing your experiences with all of us you've given our listeners the courage come on out have a great time not only that, but even to come on my show and tell them their stories, right? Right. 
All right, and thanks to you, all of you listeners out there, for listening all the way through this episode of the Birth of A Art to Travel Show. This is Barry Kessler signing off with a wish for all of you to slow down, be kind, and live the Vallarta lifestyle. Nos vemos, amigos. Yeah.